Hey guys, welcome back to my show. I can't. Why? Because I'm yeah. camera shy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be baking a few bits and bobs because my parents got a new kitchen and I want to try it out and I want some chocolate so it's a win-win. I'm going to be making two things today. I'm going to be making Nutella stuffed brown butter and chocolate chip cookies. It's amazing. I know it's a very long title but they're amazing. I can't remember if I've made them before. Let me just check real quick. Okay, sorry. No, I've never made these on this channel before, so you're getting to see them. It's actually from a website called Ambitious Kitchen. It's a blog called Ambitious Kitchen. She does really amazing stuff. But they're her Nutella stuff, brown butter, chocolate chip cookies, and they are mind-blowing. And then I'm also going to be making my brownies, which I have made on this channel before. I'm going to leave the little linky link here and yeah so let's just get started and see how we get on i have a lot to make i'm making two batches of brownies one to keep here with my parents and my sisters and then the other is gonna like come back to my place for my roommates and for work so that's to do so let's get into it okay so we've got our ingredients for the two so a whole host of sugars brown sugar golden granulated caster we've got some plain flour and a lot of chocolate um, and some white chocolate there as well Madagascan vanilla best ever and um, more chocolate and um, bicarbonate of soda or baking soda sea salt a lot of butter let's be honest eggs and then Greek yogurt so yeah we're gonna get started gonna start with the cookies first and the reason being is because they actually need to chill in the fridge for a while just that's the best way to make chocolate chip cookies you leave the dough to kind of be in the fridge let all those flavors combine and you end up with a much nicer cookie it is not a step to be skipped so just do it okay What we're doing here is we're going to be melting this butter over low heat and whisking it to get that brown butter consistency. So I'll just let this let melt for a bit and then I'll show you where we're at. Okay, so what's happening now is it's starting to foam. So it's really important that you whisk the whole time. And after a couple of minutes, what's going to happen is it's going to start to kind of change color and look a lot browner, especially at the bottom of the pan. And you keep whisking. And I'm going to eventually remove this from the heat so that it doesn't burn. Um, but that when it starts to have kind of that nutty aroma is when you take it off the heat. So I'm just whisking, whisking, whisking. It's a good workout for the next couple of minutes. Okay, you can see that the foam's gone now and it's changing color and kind of bubbling away nicely. Still whisking, I like to have my arm fall off, but it's fine. I'm just probably gonna give this another minute or two until it starts to look more brown color, kind of chestnutty, and then I'm gonna take it off the heat. 
still a little bit to go. Okay, so the butter is, excuse me, the butter is all burned now, so we're gonna move on to the next step. We need to kind of let that cool down for just a minute. So, I'm gonna weigh out my sugars. What sugars do I need? So, I'm gonna weigh these out of this bowl, so we need one and a quarter cups of dark brown and a quarter cup of golden granulated. Clumpy. I'm getting this everywhere. That might be a bit much. Perfect. And a quarter. And then a quarter of my onion meat. Okay, so those are my two sugars. What are you making? Cookies. What kind of cookies? The usual ones. Which is? The Nutella ones. <gasps> I'm not making them for you. I'm writing them into them. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm making brownies as well. You can make brownies. I'm not playing. I'm not talking for shit. Can I at least have one cookie? Mm, probably not, no. This is the gold, cup, quarter cup golden granulated and then the cup and a quarter of the dark brown sugar. And then we're gonna add into this the butter which we browned earlier. Just pour that in. Okay, and now we're gonna whisk this until combined. Okay, so now we're gonna put in egg and egg yolk vanilla and yogurt so those are my two eggs or my egg and my, my egg and my extra egg yolk and then one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract so one in there and a half in there and then how much one tablespoon, tablespoon plain Greek yogurt. Mm, that's about a teaspoon, tablespoon. And now we're going to beat this until combined. Oh my god, I wish you could smell this. It smells like heaven. It's the butter. It's the butter. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the dry ingredients a little bit at a time and um, just so it doesn't kind of clump up. So we're gonna kind of do that with my quarter cup measure and just add in a bit at a time and keep mixing. of the uh, of the chocolate chunks because it basically involves me smashing this with this and I can get a little loud so I nearly got my one and three quarter cups worth of chocolate chunks I always put in a bit more because I'm gluttonous like that and you'll see like they really are chunks so those are the chunks so I'm just going to pour those in and then just incorporate it with the dough. The dough is really thick. Um, 
so you really need to <coughs> mix well. There's literally just like full on cubes of chocolate in there, by the way. So that's pretty much that. So what I'm gonna do now is, yum, put this in the fridge to chill for a couple of hours, which just makes the cookie a million times better. Please, please, please don't skip this tip. And yeah, we'll come back to this in a few hours. One of the best things about these cookies is that they're filled with a Nutella center. Now, let me tell you, Nutella is messy when you're trying to get it into a cookie. So I've come up with a way of making it so it's really easy to put into the cookie before baking. And I'm going to show you that now. I've literally bought this. I don't... People in my house are animals. Okay, so this recipe calls for two dozen cookies, which is 24. So what I'm going to do is scoop out 24 dollops of Nutella and put it onto this baking sheet here. And then I'm going to put that in the freezer and freeze the little dollops of happiness. There's a sheet of parchment paper here. It doesn't have to be huge, probably about that much is fine. And you just scoop it off. And that's one. So now I'm gonna put all these in the freezer to chill while the dough is chilling in the fridge. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I told you I'm making is my favorite brands in the world. Now, as I have filmed this before, I don't even know if I have my camera at that stage when it comes to the GoPro. So it has been filmed before. So I'm going to redirect you to this link over here and you'll be able to see that for new recipe. And um, just because there's no point in redoing it here. I'm filming and editing it. But I will show you when I edit the oven. Who doesn't love a little freshly baked porn action? They're cooling here, looking all, all sorts of delicious. And then over here, I have two batches of brownies. I'll be honest, they're a little burnt, like this one here. That, that's getting thrown out. But my excuse is, it's a brand new oven and it was just taking a really long time to cook, but like the top of it was burning really quickly, but the inside was like, so I'm getting used to it. I've got a, my cookies on a timer, another five minutes for this batch. And yeah, so hopefully within the next hour, I'll be done. Hopefully. Okay, you guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you tried either of these recipes. Also, if you like seeing things like this and this, then you're going to want to click that subscribe button down below as I'm going to try and do a lot more baking videos in the future, especially now that my parents have gone and pimped out their kitchen and it makes it so much easier for me to cook. That's all for this week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
You're an orphan. Of course. I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, that What? So what's what are they all square? Are oh, you fucking joking? And deserve it. So he drove into Booker. Now it's difficult when he left in the Booker and he went to Green and he didn't go to the Sorry. Add the dry ingredients a little bit out of a top. A little bit of it. They're ten and a half, eight and a half. Simpson, beet, uh, rose, and cooker, and casing pound. Rice. Yeah. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. No. That subscribed up. Sub blah 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 blah.